Hi Beavers, I uh, wanted to share with you a demonstration of a um, new plugin uh, called Toolbox Helper. And Toolbox Helper is a plugin that uh, helps you create your toolbox uh, layouts. Uh, layouts created with uh, timber posts modules uh, mostly. So um, um, I'm going to be showing uh, a, a short demonstration using um, the toolbox helper. So I'll first drag in a timber post module onto uh, this row and um, will give me the default template for a timber post module. But since we're editing on a page, um, it's trying to show posts on the actual page itself. So we'll be setting the content for the Tim post modules to a custom query, <coughs> uh, posts, and a number of uh, posts per page to five. <coughs> so uh, let's start off with saving this. So you can see that it's uh, getting the first five posts, posts and the posts are generated by uh, Faker Press. So it's all uh, lower Mipsum uh, uh, content. Um, Heading back into the uh, template. So this is the default template. So I'm going to remove this one for a second. And um, then I'll show you what the uh, helper is. So the uh, um, uh, toolbox helper is uh, activated using this um, um, this button uh, that is uh, added here in the top right corner. So this will show you the toolbox helper and it has a different area. So this uh, help us for a uh, tweak template. So the uh, generic uh, tweak uh, things for your timber post module, um, specific timber um, uh, things that you can add, uh, beaver builder modules, short codes mostly for uh, the beaver builder. Uh, UI kit and uh, Timber and the latest version of uh, Toolbox um, UI kit is uh, included, so you can activate it directly from uh, uh, from the Toolbox settings and a uh, very short area of bootstrap layouts and bootstrap snippets that can uh, directly be injected into your Timber template uh, area. Um, so uh, I'll be showing one very quick way to uh, generate cards, for instance, is there's this, um, is, well, you, you can choose to add this snippet, the card for image two at the moment in the uh, beta. Uh, so you can select, do you want to have a grid or a flex layout? I'll go for flex for now. I select the image uh, size to uh, medium. And I will just insert this so it will, it will generate the um, all the necessary uh, HTML or timber template to uh, get to this layout. And you can start um, changing your uh, template using whatever you want or you, whatever you need. Um, to, uh, to change the layout. If you want to spice this up a little, um, if you use uh, the timber template before, uh, you can also add, well, for instance, a macro. It will generate a unique um, a macro name. So uh, let's go with uh, posts item item and for this we'll need to import self as macro you can you're gonna be using a macro from the current template so uh, on in the template itself so we're gonna import self as macro so a variable called the macros and now post item item is a Thing that we can call in here, so we can separate the uh, the loop and, uh, and the the post item, and we can use macros post item to item, and we'll 
we generate the same thing as we had before. It ref when it refreshes. Oh, sorry, it's posts item. So you can um, change things up uh, and now you basically know that you only need to change this uh, section to have each of these items changed. Um, there's some more useful things in here. As you can see uh, on the bottom, it just shows you five items five posts in uh, on this page but the, obviously there's more posts uh, in the custom post type or in the post type i mean in the post post type um and for that you can for instance uh, add the pagination macro so this is a, a a macro that can be included or can be used and it will add uh, pagination anywhere so you can use it multiple times, you can you know, use it on top and you can use it once more in the bottom, if you like. You can generate your own, with your own styling, obviously. Uh, but you can, this one, because we don't need to do this twice. You can have it here and uh, you can also have one extra on top. So I will have two pagination links. Uh, one in, on the top and one on the bottom. So uh, very quickly, this is a toolbox helper uh, to help you generate uh, timber post templates, uh, which are dynamic. So using custom post types, uh, custom um, well, uh, custom fields. Uh, obviously, and options field, settings pages, and uh, anything you, that you can dream of or think of in uh, um, uh, WordPress, um, you can probably use it to generate your timber post modules. And um, the toolbox helper is here to help you out, so you don't need to remember everything. For instance, if you need more info on the well, on uh, certain macros, how you can use macros, there's a quick link to um, uh, how macros work and how you can create your own macros. Um, if you want to add number format or the filter number format, there's info on the number format as well. Um, on how to import things, how blocks work, for instance. In timber posts. So anything at your convenience or the short codes um, as well for uh, Beaver Builder, for instance, you want to have more info on the uh, featured image, you can just scroll down and uh, find the info and you don't have to open the page necessarily. Also on the UE kit, you want to know more about the card and the classes that you can use to generate your cards. Uh, you can uh, just click the link and a new window will open. Okay, that's it for now. Um, thanks for watching.